Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. And by the way, just got in town. And I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky ruin my vibe. Usually, I don't do. Hi, guys. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, my name is KK, but if you are, um, well, if you've been with me, hi, baby girl, um, so today I kind of just wanted to have a quick kind of girl talk, um, I literally live by, like, a highway, you guys can't even see it, but, so I really hope you guys can hear me, but, um, I just wanted to make a video because I have struggles all my life with not believing in myself. Um, I've struggled with my self-esteem, my self-worth. Um, I struggled with believing in myself so much. Like, I could just remember back in high school where I was so shy and I just, I always was in my head worrying, overthinking, analyzing everything and just not ever having you know, um, parents who spoke life into me and helped me to believe in myself. Um, I just can remember there are so many opportunities I have missed because I do not believe in myself. There's been, um, and not even just believing in yourself, believing that you are worthy of love. I struggled with that. I struggled with believing that I was worthy of love. I struggled with believing that I was worthy of, of healthy things, good things. I struggled with believing that I was enough to receive what it is that God has called me to, what he has for me and only for me. And that's a lot of um, the times, well, that's a lot of another thing too that I, I realized is that um, comparison does not get you anywhere um, because what God has for you is for you and then what God has for somebody else is for somebody else and you may get that at a different time you may get you know your blessings at a different time and that person's blessings at a different time and it might lead you to compare or you have to wait for your blessing it just it really does not do you any good when you compare yourself but I digress um, that's not what I wanted to talk about I really just wanted to talk about believing in yourself and it's gonna take everything in you it's gonna take all your strength all your might all of your all of your determination all of your your passion and your belief in your faith to believe in yourself because because if nobody, if you don't believe in you, nobody's gonna believe in you. And it doesn't even matter if other people don't believe in you because even if you still believe in yourself, other people aren't gonna believe in you. You know what I mean? Like, say if you start, you want to start a business or you want to start your YouTube channel, which took me years. I have had a my dream for since I was like in high school was to start YouTube, and it took me so long to actually just have faith and courage that my YouTube and and just to have faith that like that like my YouTube videos are inspiring and I have my own unique way and gifts of making YouTube videos. It took me years. I I procrastinated for years with YouTube because I did not believe in myself. I did not believe that I deserved to have a YouTube channel that was growing and exponentially and inspiring people. I did not believe in myself deep down enough that that's what God really put down in my heart. And this is why I want this video to encourage anybody who does not believe in themselves. And, you know, a lot of people can fake it. A lot of people can, you know, show you a side of you that they want you to see but everybody goes through depression anxiety worry doubt jealousy everybody goes through these emotions so for so everybody has had a time in their lives when they had a, a big opportunity or they had a big dream that God has put down in their hearts but they did not believe in themselves enough to actually go and pursue that thing yeah 
that's me and I know there's a lot of people out there too as well but I'm just I cannot believe how long it took me to actually believe in myself and I'm still working on that I'm still a work in progress um, but I know what it's like I know what it's like to not believe in yourself to to feel like you know a room full a room full of people and somehow you just don't believe that you're enough or you don't believe that you belong or you don't believe that you you matter and and that's that's really not the case but um i feel like you have to just adapt a really close relationship with god and to be authentic with him and and i am not religious i but i do believe in in Jesus I do believe in God I do believe that there is a higher power over my life I do believe that I am nothing without the source that that people may call the God Jesus um, Buddha whatever you want to call it I'm not religious but I do believe that there is such a higher power than myself and you you have to be real with that source and, and, and tell them well I'm I'm talking about God for me but um, you have to you have to be real with God and, and tell him that you, that you're hurting in a certain area that you know I don't, I don't really believe in myself right now God I don't believe that that I could that I have what it takes to do this I don't believe that things are gonna work out that's another thing um, a lot of the times I believe that things weren't gonna work out for me and things always worked out for me and more so I'm just here to tell you as a as a vessel that you have what it takes you have to just believe in yourself you have to wake up every day and speak life over yourself you have to wake up every day and encourage yourself you have to wake up every day and believe that you have what it takes and, and believe that you're here for a reason i also thought that i was not here i didn't believe i was here for i was just here I believed that I didn't have a purpose and I didn't have a meaning and I and, and who I was wasn't just I was just here I was just here waking up eating sleeping going to work repeat like I thought that that's what life was about Go, or when I was in high school or when I was in and when I did some of college or even some of trade school um, I just thought that it was simply waking up going to school you know doing things you hate doing things that aren't you know doing things you don't want to do but but that's not that's not why you're here or i'm here we're here to fill out our purposes and purposes don't have to be this big grand thing purposes are not to fly to the moon if that's your purpose then let that be your purpose and, and if the god has put that in your spirit then let that be in your spirit but not all the time is a purpose this thing that we're thinking a purpose can be starting a business because you're going to be the first generational curse breaker in your family you know what i mean it can be as simple as that for a gener for for your purpose but i go to say this to just really my heart goes out to anybody who is struggling to believe in themselves to and, and it's not even just believing in yourself um like like it's more than just that like just believing in yourself like believing that you're loved believing that you're enough believing that you're here for a reason believing that you are worthy of love believing in yourself to to be yourself you know believing in yourself to 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 love yourself believing in yourself that that you are worthy of love and this is worthy being feeling believing that i was worthy of love is still something i tackle every day because of my childhood um so i just i really hope this video inspires you to just believe in yourself and wake up every day and just just connect with god because that is the only way you're going to really see how he sees you because you have such a distorted view about you and that's why you don't believe in you because other people have put put things spoken things over you over you have said things about you that you've tended to believe you you believe that that when people left you that you were wor you weren't worthy of you know um of love or you weren't worthy of someone staying you know this is belief is believing in yourself is one thing but but like I'm saying, it, it's hard to explain. I hope you guys can understand. But like, like it's not just, oh, I believe in myself. 
but do you? Do you believe in yourself to wake up every morning and do the things that are uncomfortable to get to where you want to be? Do you believe that things are going to work out for you? Do you believe in yourself to, to start what it is that you want and you're feeling like you're called to do? So, I don't really have any much more to say about this. I just feel really passionate about this because it's still taking me a while at the age of 22 years old to actually believe in myself, believe that I'm pretty, believe that I'm beautiful, believe in the compliments that people compliment me every day. It's it's taken me a while and it's still taking and it's still, you know, I'm I'm working on it and it's a work in progress, but just just I think I think believing that that you're you are here for a reason. Believing that you are here for a reason is probably the biggest thing people struggle with and believing that that you're loved and that you're worthy of love no matter what you go through no matter what you do that God always loves you and I think a lot of people who grew up in religious homes feel like God only loves me if I'm doing something good if I'm a good girl or God only loves me if I'm reading the Bible and doing what it is that God wants me to do yes he does want you to read he does want you to be good but God is not not like people. He does not love you conditionally. He loves you unconditionally. He never says in the Bible that he does he loves you under conditions. He loves you if you do this, 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 that. He never says that. And that's where a lot of people and a lot of religious people mess up at because then they think that they're being holy by teaching you something that God is not even teaching himself. But I digress. But this is something that God has put in my spirit for a while to just hopefully my my aura and my light and God speaking through me really helps you to believe in yourself and helps you to love yourself um, and rely on him you know my nose is so itchy. but yeah that's all I have to say for this video um, I really hope that you are encouraged to love yourself and to really, really believe in yourself that you are enough and to believe that that God has something for you, even though you cannot feel it, even though this may not be the season that you are going to receive it, even if it's this even if it has been a shitty five years, two years, a year, you know, you're not really seeing any progress, believe. Believe that things are going to get better because they are, and this is your sign. Okay, I love you guys. I will see you in the next one.